tribunals. Many students forget or do not interpret the question correctly. It is always best to consider all forms of the civil justice system in a question about civil law. Discuss all parts at the end, so be on the safe side. In an ADR question, discusses tribunals and how it's different from courts and ADR. You do not get marks for only stating the law, if you state the law perfectly, it will give you December 25th. However, the commentary is what will provide you with better marks. Tribunals work side by side with the court system and have become an integral part of the justice system. In the second half of the 20th century, with the welfare state developing, more tribunals were formed. These were created to give people a way to assert their claim to some social rights. Like traditional dispute resolution, though, where the plaintiffs agree not to use the judiciary, the parties cannot go to trial and settle a disagreement in tribunal cases. Instead of court proceedings, the arbitration must be used. Role of Tribunals Tribunals uphold the rights granted bylaws on social and health issues. There are many specific freedoms, such as the right to a mobility pension for those who are too poor to travel more than a very short distance, the right to compensate if one is made redundant from employment, the right not to be discriminated against on account of one's ethnicity, color, age, or impairment, the right of refugees to have a political asylum appli application considered. These are just a few of the types of rights that tribunals deal with. Tribunals, Courts and Enforcement Act 2007. As the welfare state grew, Tribunals were set up, and new developments led to the creation of a modern tribunal. That has contributed to more than 70 separate tribunal forms. Tribunal became independent, so various methods were used by the specific tribunals. That has confused and complicated the system. The Tribunals, Judiciary, and Compliance Act 2007 changed the whole structure. It established a single judicial system, with a first-tier judicial handling first-instance proceedings and an upper tribunal hearing appeals. First-tier tribunal. Just remember the numbers in two to three kinds of tribunals. This works in seven chambers, divisions, since the first-tier tribunal deals with about 300,000 lawsuits each year and has about 200 judges and 3,600 members of the laypeople. These are the Chamber of Social Entitlements This covers a wide range of problems such as child support, redress for traumatic injury, and gender identification. The Chamber of Health, Education, and Social Services, which comprises the previous Mental Health Assessment Tribunal, which deals with complaints regarding prolonged incarceration of mental hospitals, the committee frequently deals with issues around specific educational needs. The War Pensions and Armed Forces Compensation Chamber the General Regulatory Chamber, the Taxation Chamber, the Land, Property, and Housing Chamber, the Asylum and Immigration Chamber. Besides these, there is one trial that still functions independently from the first-tier tribunal. This is a commission for jobs. Nonetheless, this is likely to eventually become a component of the first-tier tribunal. Upper Tribunal the upper tribunal is divided into four chambers, divisions. These are The Administrative Appeals Chamber, which hears appeals from the Social Entitlement Chamber, the Health, edu Education and Social Care Chamber and the War Pensions and Armed Forces Compensation Chamber. The Tax and Chancery Chamber. The Lands Chamber. The Asylum and Immigration Chamber. There is another possible route of appeal from the upper tribunal to the Court of Appeal, and a direct appeal to the Supreme Court from here. Composition Cases are considered by a tribunal judge in the first-tier court. In fact, two community representatives must consult with the judge to make the judgment for some forms of event. Such lay representatives will have tribunal experience in the specific field. Of instance, the lay participants would be medically qualified in a hearing about a petition to mobility compensation, while there would be surveyors seated on the lands tribunal. There are two lay leaders also in employment tribunals. These will normally be one individual from an organization of employers and one from an organization of workers, which allows them a very good understanding of the problems of work. Procedure there ought to be a forum for both parties to make their argument. This will be performed properly in some courts, 
notably jobs and asylum tribunals, with the complainant giving evidence under oath and being cross-examined. All tribunals work in a less organized manner. Representation funding is available in just a few tribunals, so most candidates won't have an advocate but will make their own argument. Where a claimant submits his own complaint, the tribunal judge must then try to ensure that the complainant positions the case in full. Tribunal ruling is final. The Administrative Justice and Tribunals Council. That was established under the 2007 Tribunals, Courts, and Enforcement Act. It replaced the former Tribunals Council, which had been operating since 1957. Its duties include retaining the functioning of tribunals under review reporting on the constitution and functioning of tribunals considering and reporting on any other court-related matter. A council member may attend, as an observer, any tribunal, tribunal proceedings. Advantages of tribunals Very important. Tribunals are formed to keep the courts from overloading with the extra cases that demand social and health benefits produce. For tribunal cases, the benefits for the claimant are that these cases are addressed more cheaply, more quickly, more informally, by experts in the area. Cheapness. Because claimants are expected to defend themselves and not to use counsel, tribunal proceedings usually do not require the expenses of court hearings. It is also unusual for a judge to request compensation, so a plaintiff needn't be fearful of a big bill if they lose the case. Quick hearings Many court hearings are very brief and can be concluded in one day. Informality The hearings are more casual than in court. Parties are encouraged to come forward with their own case. Nevertheless, most situations are attended to in private. Expertise Two lay representatives participate in some tribunals to hear the case with the tribunal president. Some lay participants are specialists in understanding the type of case. It gives them a good understanding and knowledge of the problem at hand. Disadvantages of tribunals Lack of funding Public funding for most tribunals is not eligible, which may put a claimant at a disadvantage if the other party, often an employer or government department, has an advocate. Legal aid is provided regarding cases involving fundamental human rights, such as whether an asylum seeker has the ability to remain in the UK or whether a victim can reside in a safe mental hospital. More formal than ADR A hearing before a tribunal is more formal than using ADR. The location is new, and for people who bring their own situations, the process can be overwhelming. Where candidates are not identified, it is suggested that the judge may perform an inquisitorial position to help to identify the arguments the claimant wants to make. But that vision isn't always accomplished. Delay So while the goal is to deal with cases efficiently, the number of cases heard by the tribunals ensures there may be delays in getting a trial. Having leaders of the lay will contribute to this issue as they sit part-time, typically one day a fortnight. If a trial is lengthy and continues for several days, this can result in cases extending over a period of weeks or even months. Domestic tribunals These are tribunals essentially set up in-house by private entities, typically for their own internal disciplinary oversight. We will comply with the natural justice laws, and all judgments are subject to judicial review. Furthermore, there is an appeal route to the Judicial Committee of the Privy Council for many professional disciplinary tribunals, in cases where the tribunal has decided to strike a member from the professional register. It refers, for example, to decisions taken by the General Medical Council's Disciplinary Committee, and also to other medical regulatory tribunals.